place value for kids. Today, we will learn all about place value. We will do some activities together to help you become number reading champions. First, let's talk about the word digit. We use the word digit to talk about any number from zero to nine. In the number 356, there are three digits. One, two, three. How many digits are in this number? It's three again, isn't it? One, two, three. Numbers can be made up of one digit, two digits, or many digits. Each digit in a number has something called a place value. What is place value? Place value tells us how much each digit in a number represents. This chart represents the values ones, tens, and hundreds. It's important to learn the value of each digit in a number. For example, the number five in the ones place has a value of five. But if we move the five to the tens place, we now have five tens, or the number 50. And if we move that five over one more time, to the hundreds place, we now have five hundreds, or five hundred. Let's look at a number with three different digits. This number is 567, and each of those three digits has a specific place value. Let's slide this number into our chart. The place value is now listed below each digit. This number has the place values in the hundreds, tens, and ones. There are seven ones, which equals seven, six tens, or sixty, and five hundreds, or five hundred. You can also think of this number as five hundred plus sixty plus seven, or five hundred and sixty-seven. With place value, you will always put the final digit of any whole number in the ones column. Then, all the other numbers will automatically fall into their correct columns. If the number only has two digits, we again start with the ones column and insert the last number there. The three in the tens column represents three tens, or 30 in this number, and the four in the ones column represents four ones, or four. We do the same thing if the number is only one digit, like in the number six. The six gets inserted into the ones column, which means this digit represents six ones. Quick quiz. In the number 786, which digit is in the tens place? Did you say eight? That's right. There are eight tens, or 80. Which digit is in the hundreds place? Did you say seven? You got it. There are seven hundreds, or 700. Finally, how many ones are there? I bet you said six. You're on a roll. 786 is the same as 700 plus 80 plus 6. So far, we've only looked at numbers with three digits. Let's talk about the place values after hundreds. The largest three-digit number we have is 999. The next number is 1,000 and has four digits. Can you guess what the next place value is named? Did you say one thousands? Great job. So, what do you think the name of the next added place value column is? Did you say ten thousands? If so, you're exactly right. How about the next one? It's hundred thousands. Can you see the ones, tens, and hundreds pattern repeating? On this next chart, we get to one millions place value. 
the pattern then repeats again to 10 millions, 100 millions, and then billions. We've practiced assigning place values to different numbers. Here are a few final questions to help you review. Fill in the blank. Digit is another word for... Did you say number? Awesome! True or false? The last digit of any whole number always goes in the ones column. True. No matter how big or small the number, the last digit always has a ones place value. Which digit in the number 1472 goes in the tens place value column? Did you say seven? Fantastic work, number experts. Place value is a really important tool. You'll use this tool to help you add, subtract, and even multiply and divide numbers. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers. Thank you.